Hello British storytellers, welcome to British Stories and in a similar format to where I give out the first insight and inspirations to my narrow diversity dream story, Glass Bottom Boat, this will be an entirely scripted podcast on my brand new idea which I know I had a lot of stories in my head which a few examples are like I said, Glass Bottom Boat which will be a book format and a Christmas story called The North Pole Village in a Broadway play format Escape the story of Lighthouse Village in a book format, which might turn into a movie, a Halloween story about my original character, Hallie Lit, the spirit of the haunted hayride, and I'm guessing a book format and plenty more stories coming your way. But for now, and don't worry, since I plan for this reveal to be even more stronger than the glass on the boat one, let me introduce you to my brand new idea that will be formatted as a sitcom series, The Family Video Movie Club, named after, well, The Family Video Movie Club, based on my old childhood rental store, Family Video. <sighs> Don't we miss those simpler times before streaming services such as Netflix and Hulu became popular? Bark your more, Jay! Us youngins, such as myself, would used to get so excited when entering family video and making such timeless memories when entering, when, uh, when either renting or buying DVDs or cassette tapes in TV shows, movies, or video games. I still remember to read the movie Whoopsie's Big Movies from Wow Wow Whoopsie and the video game. Nicktoons Unite! Seriously, especially in the pandemic, kids these days don't even know what they are missing when you can touch and climb upon a yellow m M&M 3D stand, which is one of the inspirations for the lead character's quirks, as I will tell you later. Even driving past family video gives this nostalgia factor that I will always miss forever. Until... When I realized at this point that the special family video has turned into a Dollar General. I am being serious, like why? I mean, I know why, but Dollar General? Just take away the dollar and what do you get? General. As in the most commonly bland and Dollar General. What kind of memories would you, would kids get from a Dollar General? How to be a cheapskate? Family Dollar got more class than the Dollar General, though. I will get this if there's going to be a new store called Video General. <sighs> uh, no offense if you walk a lot, Dollar General. <laughs> this was all a comedy stunt just to get the point that one of my favorite childhood stores has gone to shreds. And trust me, this is not the same feeling as when Toys R Us and Chuck E. Cheese went bankrupt because those two places were more popular so we can all more together. But with Family Video's closure, it just felt more personal, and just to see that my local family video store is now a Dollar General, it get pretty emotional, man. No matter what, I can never stop thinking about family video and all the joys it used to bring to my childhood. Rest in peace, family video. As much as I can write an entire obituary on the demise of family video right now, we have to move on to get into more detail of this. Trust me, this is not just a family video commercial put into a series. This is my new sitcom idea I am willing to pitch in, similar to Shark Tank, except I don't think that many people are going to see this. The Family Video Movie Club! With some of the inspirations by other sitcoms or sitcom based shows such as 16, iCarly, and Some Assembly Required. The basic summary and presence of the show is about an 18 year old Italian descent named Charlotta Vidya Mutinaro, the third, or Charlie for short, named after the founder and CEO, Charles Hoogland. May you rest in peace. 
who, after 18 years, still mooches off her parents, never want to get a job or leave her childhood behind. Unlike her polar opposite friend of me, big sister Anita Taken Mutinawo, or Anna for short, who is already living out her college years with a job at Dairy Queen. Charlie thought she would not have to take responsibility forever until she discovered that her old childhood went to store family video is going out of business and turned into a dull general. Again, no offense. Charlie wanted to protest and help hashtag save the video store, but in order to do that, Charlie decided to finally take responsibility in her life and become the new manager of family video. Throughout her journey at work, she discovers new skills while keeping her fun, childlike, and bouncy persona. And throughout the sitcom, you will slowly see her develop into an actual adult and how she is now planning to use the money for her college tuition. As in, what major will she be thinking of? I will just leave that as a surprise. Just you wait. And another funny fact about Charlie is that she can be extremely flirtatious and she have a huge crush on the yellow M&M 3D Sandy ever since she was a kid and will always look deep into his nuts to go full on flirty with him which always bothered this one employee who I will talk about later. But for now, Charlie's big adventure have only just begun. So now she's going to have to hire a couple of employees to help her keep the family video business running. And the first one I'll be introducing is the customer service representative and everyone's dream best friend, Sadie Clarity. Sadie is the most down to earth and less crazy of the cast. She is absolutely in love with her job and enjoys making new friends and giving out wise and spectacular advice to not only the customers but her co-workers themselves as everyone loves to have her around. Although within her family persona lies a very dark truth about her home life, as both the people in the sitcom is starting to notice how Sadie is always arriving early and notice how she always loves to spend too much time at her job. But that will just be left a mystery for now. If you are wondering, Sadie along with another character is based on the video this video rental chain has found the right formula to drive in the on-demand era from Sunday today, where the new anchors point out how one of family video's strengths are the customer service and how the customer service representatives such as Sadie would love to greet customers by always saying hello at the door. But aside from smart financial management, the most important ingredient of family video's success Hello. Hello, hello. Meticulous customer service. Every time I walk in the door, I hear hello. 50% of the customers that do come in the store, we know by first and last name, and we do because we care about them. The next employee is the stuck associate who is not only the best hookup when it comes to movie, TV shows, video games, foods, and snacks, but is also a wild, goofy, energetic off kilter who loves roller skating. Introducing Alec Kilter. And if you're asking, yes, his name is based off the character Marcus Flutie, who during workshop get the nickname Alec from Jessica Darling's It List. And yes, he's my favorite character. He loves being in control in the snack stand and sometimes work part-time at their sister business, Marcos Pizza. He's the total goofball of the club and be sure to check out Charlie's and Alex's dynamic. I won't spoil if they will become a couple or not, especially with how they both share an energetic and offbeat personality. But all I'm going to spill is that he has a funny cross on Charlie, and which Charlie is completely oblivious and doesn't take seriously, and will still validate the yellow M&M standee. Alec even begins to see the yellow M&M standee as his love rival and will do anything to take him down to be with Charlie. And with Charlie and Alec's dynamic, I took inspiration from one of those funny one-sided oddball dynamics to the point where I am planning for them to have a fake wedding inside of the store. Trust me, you are going to love them. But enough with Chalik, why I like to call Charlie and Alec, but back to Cha Alec, not Chalik, Alec, as a character. Yeah, he's the comic relief and video game junkie, but deep down, he can display a soft citizen side towards his co-workers whenever things get out of hand and will do anything to help cheer one of his friends whenever they are in need. Alec is a ton of fun and is an unpredictable employee, so you better watch out for him the most. Then, we have the so-called final employee that is not secretive, the technical programmer who, for example, can fix any book and video game and can post up signs outside of the store and is considered the brains of the club, Pan Micah, or Mike for short. 
Mike is a Chinese descent to help spread the cause to stop the Asian hate, who is born with cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a cognitive disorder that affects body movement, muscle tone, or posture to all be paralyzed and stiffed. Mike is nonverbal, and he always needs someone to move him in his wheelchair as his cerebral palsy makes him become weaker from the bone down. As you may or may not know, I am all about celebrating neurodiversity as I am a neurodiverger myself except I am on the high fucking autism spectrum. Mike will be able to teach any age that having cerebral palsy or being disabled in any sort of way does not limit you from doing the things you like to do, or in my case, being a great employee and a very essential part of the team. To add to Mike's character, like so far, his favorite animals are dolphins because of the way they use different communication like him, through echolocation from afar. All of his employees will treat Mike with respect. This is where Alec especially shows up his most sensitive side when he's around him, and Mike and Sadie are especially the closest of friends. Especially in his birthday party episode, which if you want them to be a couple, maybe, I'm not sure yet if you guys want to, but I personally support Chalik the most. Another information that is very essential to Mike's character is his ability to both do his job and communicate through electromagnetic waves. Inspired by the close and critical reading passage I had to do in chemistry about how even though we can only see visible light with a naked eye, humans can use electromagnetic waves from tons of forms from transportation and communication. Like I said, I am still thinking of some ideas for Mike, but so far I am hoping for Mike to either communicate with mouth clicking or an electromagnetic wave headset where he can move around his wheelchair by himself, communicate with a co-worker with no voice at all because I don't want Mike to be a whip on Stephen Hawking with his cringy voice box. And of course, do his job as the technician of the club, with most of the customers and especially his co-workers, Charlie, Alec, and Sadie, even Anna, all are accepting of Mike for who he is. The character Mike, similar to Sadie, was also inspired by the same video where they interview one of the customers that is books in with his son Mike, who has cerebral palsy which displays the inclusivity of family video. And this interview is just so heartwarming and as a huge fan of spreading nail diversity, this extra addition just makes me love my favorite childhood place even more. There's a sense of inclusion. Which one? Dennis Berkson and his family have been coming here for over 20 years. His son Mike has cerebral palsy. To them, the business really lives up to its name. This is not a device, this is brick and mortar. And yeah, it's old school, but you know what else is old, old school? Uh, connections and friendships and, and communication and conversations. So, you may think those are the employees, right? Charlie, the fun-loving boss and manager, Sadie, the super sweet customer service representative, Alec, the goofy stock associate, even though he likes to be called the snack guy, and Mike, the highly intelligent technician. Except, we are forgetting our secret helper. Who could the secret helper be? Well, even though we already introduced her, let us give into more detail with Charlie's big sister, Anita Taka Mutinawa, or Anna for short. To recap, Charlie and Anna are polar opposite frenemies, with Charlie being fun loving, bouncy, and childlike. While Anna is strict, snarky, grounded, and mature, living a serious lifestyle and is only working to get the money and to live out her successful future. Most of the time in the show, they will try to one up each other in business, creating sort of a fictional feud between Family Video and Dairy Queen. As fun as this rivalry can be, deep down, both Charlie and Anna really care about each other and will do whatever it takes to help each other out. What gives Anna the title as the secret helper is that whenever she is off her shift at Dairy Queen, she would always help around Family Video without the notice of Charlie or any of the other employees, with one example being how she would help an overnight customer in returning the movie they rented out. This makes Anna be included in the main walkster, but just know all of this is only the beginning of all the adventures they will have in the Family Video Movie Club. 
If this becomes a real thing, I don't know if a 16 year old can produce a sitcom or especially get actors or actresses for each part, set up a team, get the props and setting, so on and so forth. But if I had to pitch this sitcom idea to any channels, it would be Nickelodeon or Netflix, maybe even Paramount Plus. But since having this show in any streaming service will defeat the purpose on why we need family video to come back, I am leaning for the family video movie club to be a Nickelodeon show. Not only just because I literally mentioned three Nickelodeon based topics in this video with Wow Wow Wubsy, Wubsy Big Movie, Nicktoons Unite, and I Coley, but this show just fits more into Nickelodeon because of all the family friendly, quirky, fun, unique, off the wall, and I'll even say slime like atmosphere this show has to offer. And unlike Disney Channel, this show isn't all black and white or have topics for only teenage and teenage girls can get. Instead, this sitcom will have more of a boyish to tomboyish kind of feel when it comes to comedy and fun, with some silly shorts about each of the main five casts. While you're also sprinkling in some meta, mature, and emotional things, such as how Charlie throughout the series will develop into acting like a full-grown adult and sees real home life on why she loves to work at family videos so much. So that is all the information I will give away for my sitcom idea, The Family Video Movie Club! Again, pretty short, hope you'll stay in too with all my other ideas, remember to spread hashtag to the video store, and lastly, but definitely not least, to describe the main accent of the show, let us remember this quote from the late CEO of Family Video who passed away in 2020. A golden opportunity is the kind of thing that you always hope will come true into your life to make it better. Sometimes you can't plan, and you can't see, but when you are a part of it, you will surely know. Kids are encouraged to excel, get an A in school, get a free movie. And you come in here and you see these kids running around with their report cards in their hand. <laughs> it's great. <laughs>